So I'm back, um, and this video I'm hoping is a much better video than the previous videos that I've made with this caf camera, um, because there's been um, there's been a few like barriers that I've been getting. The main barrier is that when I record a 3D video, the 180 3D video with this caf. Uh, Vinis, Vinis, or whatever you have, I can't pronounce it, but it's CAF 3D camera. When I record a video with it and I put that video on YouTube, it's just a side by side video. There's no, the, YouTube does not see it as a 3D video. I mean, that's a massive problem. It's supposed to be easy. This is a consumer camera. You should take a video, upload it to your social media, and it should just be 3D. And uh, that's not the case. So I've been uploading my videos to YouTube and they've just been two square videos of what I'm recording. And uh, yeah, it's just rubbish, not very immersive at all. So there was uh, a couple of people, because I've been looking on YouTube, just trying to find uh, somebody to give some advice. I've emailed CAF um, a couple of times and they are not replying back to my emails. I've told them, what issues I'm having with the camera and they're not even replying to my emails, which is like worrying um, because th these are problems they need to solve anyway. So I'm kind of helping them out by identifying things that are like not working right with the camera, but they're not getting back. But there's a couple of guys on uh, YouTube. Um, I don't know their actual name, we've got WBHBR. And he's done a couple of videos related to this camera. And, uh, and, I, and I learned some stuff from it. And then there's another guy called Jacks 3 d uh, French guy, I believe. And uh, he actually gave me some fantastic uh, advice. And that is that the video out of this camera does not directly have its uh, metadata injected into it. It has to be injected afterwards. Hopefully that changes with an update from uh, COG. But um, he gave me a link to some software it can be installed on a Mac or a Windows computer. And then very quickly, when you've recorded your video, you run this software on the video and it quickly puts the metadata into the video so that YouTube sees it as a 3D 180 video. So this video will be getting that and we'll see when I've uploaded it, whether it works. Um, if it does, fantastic. If not, then I'm back to square one with that. Um, so the camera, all in all, um, if the if that can be sorted out, and then obviously there's the contrast. Um, WBHVR talks about the contrast problem, like exclusively, all about it, and it's bang on the nail. Um, they need to give us more control, or at least give us options for using different settings to different scenes, you know, different lighting uh, uh, scenarios. So I'm. More optimistic now about this camera than I was a few days ago when I received it, uh, because at least we've got some footage that can go on YouTube and can be actually watched um, as a, a 3D 180 video. So let's see, let's watch this space and see what happens. Um, uh, anybody got a Mac computer? These are they're just you plug this into a Mac computer, the Mac computer doesn't even see it. So I'm going to pull out an old Windows computer to pull the videos off this camera. Um, getting the videos out of this camera and putting it into your, uh, your say, MetaQuest 3, it, it's just, it's not an easy task. You know, you can't do it wirelessly. You can't even plug it in and do it. You've got to go for a right rigmarole of pulling it from the camera into a Windows computer, and then you've got to, inject it with metadata before you can put it on YouTube and then watch it. So a nightmare. It needs uh, it needs some fixing, needs some updates, but there's big potential with this camera. So uh, let's see what happens. If you fix it, Kath, if you fix the camera, I'll buy another one. Um, I like what WBH has done. He's actually bought two of these cameras. He's got one inside of him and one at the front. That's great. I can see an opportunity for filming 3D um, scenarios, filming musicians, filming um, uh, acts, uh, filming interviews, 
with these kind of cameras having more than one. But I'm not buying a second camera if the first one's not working properly. So, Cav, get your act together. Let's make this camera a good camera. Okay, it was really interesting to see if this works. Bye bye. <laughs>